All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where gaming meets zero expectations. Hopefully I said that correctly. I, I, I probably should write that down. Um, yeah, uh, I'll have to do that later. But <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with today's episode. We are going to try and get all these, uh, uh, the three tasks that are left. Um, and I think we're pretty much just going to follow the road. And since we're going to do that, we're probably going to go after Shabby Guardhouse first. And uh, yeah, let's see what's uh, let's see what's in store for this one. So <clears throat> I think it's uh, morning, isn't it? Yeah, it is morning. Yeah. So we're in our Tatan, however, you, however you decide to say it. Uh, I usually like to say it a little funky, a little, uh, unconventional, I guess, but, uh, apparently I'm having a hard time staying on the road. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's been, um, it's been a very mellow day, I guess, where I didn't really get a whole lot done. Um, so yeah, I just had a nice relaxing day. Um, so yeah, obviously my driving skills have uh, diminished because of that, so... <clears throat> Alright, hopefully I should be able to get back into the groove of things. Get things going. <clears throat> uh, I believe this episode is going out on Friday, so by the time you see this, hopefully uh, yeah, you'll be uh, well on to your weekend. And you guys can have a nice and and relaxing weekend. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, we're we're almost to uh, our marker here, so I believe oh, it's like a stone chen stone chen over there. Stone hedge. No, stone henge. Henge. There we go. Uh, anyways. Let's go ahead. I believe it was down this trail here. And yeah, we'll 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 fix our uh, driving ability. Ooh. Uh, do I want to say left or do I want to go right? I don't want to go left. I feel like left is a little bit more solid. Maybe a little too solid. Um, yeah, especially, especially with the tree in the way. All right, where exactly are we going? Um, yeah, kind of have to go up that way, but I think we're gonna follow the trail around. Ooh, I have a feeling that that wasn't that muddy. Oh, this thing is, for some reason today, this thing is hard to control. <clears throat> Alright, so we gotta go... Okay, we'll just keep going. There should be a road on the, the right-hand side that we have to uh, turn on to. So I was watching a quick video on, um, I believe the game is called Roadcraft, the, uh, the new game from Sabretooth and Focus that is coming out. Um, it looks like it's closer, uh, to SnowRunner than it was, uh, Expeditions, but it is not related to SnowRunner. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty interesting. They did, uh, they did in fact in, uh, they did in fact make sand a terrain um, and it seems like it's pretty prevalent so that's that's gonna be kind of interesting to play I, I was kind of saying when they did the next snow runner that the uh, the next thing would be sand so 
I was kind of sort of right. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and accept this and start tracking. All right, so we have to get wooden planks here. Not, uh, not really the task I was thinking it was, so I was hoping it was a, a drag a vehicle here or, you know, go to point A, point B kind of thing, so. But they need, uh, they need wood planks, so. That will be something that, uh, we will probably get to sooner or later. Well, probably sooner than later. <clears throat> but let's go check out what the next mission is. See if that is something that we can actually do in this vehicle. Wow. Go ahead and, and slow our tires down a little bit there. <clears throat> Come on. Dig in. Dig in. Come on. Wow, I did, I, I did not expect this to be so, uh, so tough right here. Alright, there we go. Let's try to, uh, let's try to stay on the road. Alright, so let's hang a left here, and then I believe we go around this hill. And then hopefully we can, uh, find a path up to, uh, where we have to go. probably should throw a marker down. I think this is kind of a path here. So I'm going to say we enter here, we come up here, and that should get us to where we need to go. And then we can kind of just follow that path all the way to uh, temporary measures. Unless, unless this task is uh, something that we can easily do with this vehicle and we don't have to uh, get a different vehicle to uh, complete it so and uh, yeah we are uh, as of right now we are one subscriber away from hitting the 250 subscriber mark so that's uh, that's pretty amazing kind of excited about that it's halfway to the uh, the 500 subscriber mark that uh, YouTube sets out. I wish they had uh, smaller increments, but uh, yeah, I mean, I guess 500 is not too bad. So we are we are almost there. And ooh, come on, this thing can't get. We can't be having issues with this thing. Can I not attach to the, um, there we go. I was like, it would be kind of silly if I can't attach to that radio tower. All right, this wasn't the best path to take. I'm not going to lie. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Get in there. Thank you. There's got to be a tree there that will... There we go. Alright. Let's accept this. Let's go ahead and start tracking. And we need a uh, service spare part, so... Yeah, that's not uh, not a mission for us in the in this vehicle anyway. So let's try to get the camera to do what it's supposed to be doing. Come on. Okay, we're apparently winched back onto that tree. And somewhere in here, there is a trail that we can follow. Yeah, I guess it goes up between these uh, these columns. We're definitely not going over that. 
and this looks extremely tight. Hey, <laughs> so we're, we're not getting through there. Although I guess they're saying that's not the trail. So I guess maybe, maybe this is the trail here? This doesn't look too horrible to try to get through. We'll just take out a couple trees, it's no biggie. Um, okay, we are still on the trail. <laughs> Hey, you want to winch onto the tree that can actually help you through here? That would be uh, greatly appreciated. Alright, so none of these trails are, um, are very nice. I think maybe we can squeeze up here. Uh, but I definitely don't want to bring any type of truck through here. Yeah, because this just looks like a random... <laughs> they say it's a path. I don't, I don't see how it's a path. Come on, thank you. I gotta go through 50 trees just to, um, get up and over. Alright, where exactly am I going? Um, <laughs> well, technically I'm coming over here, so this should be, uh, quite exhilarating. <clears throat> and I actually see a path now, so hopefully... Speed things up by uh, using the tower to uh, turn the front end of the vehicle. Okay, so trees are gonna go by all that, and I just got my first bit of damage. That's kind of weird. Okay, so I think uh, I think we gotta go up this, but I also think it's ice, so. The good news is, is it is surrounded by solid wood trees, so... There we go! It's apparently so slippery that the back end of the vehicle just wants to slide. Um, let's try... Come on, get into gear. Is there anything that I can attach onto? Ah, I gotta go through the 20 trees behind me. Of course. There we go. That's the tree I wanted. Okay, so definitely going to need chains for this one. Definitely going to need chains. Um, I guess we can go around this way.
All right, I really didn't expect this to be such a struggle, but uh, we finally made it. And let's see what we need. Metal beams. Okay, so we need spare parts, wood planks, and metal beams. And of course, they all have to be dropped off up here, so... Uh, where are our metal beams? That's that's a good question. Where? Oh, okay, there they are. All right, so that's not too bad. Let's let's do unlucky. Let's start tracking that. Vehicle spare parts are okay at the railroad station. And then shabby guardhouse, the wood planks are also up there, so yeah, I suppose we'll do the metal beams first. Uh, so let's see here, I think the, uh, I think the Azov that is probably in the garage will be a good bet. Yeah, I think that should do it. Um, Let's go ahead and throw some chain tires on. And we will throw the only chain tires we have. That is going to just have to be what it is. Um, yeah, and I think everything else is good to go. Let's go ahead and leave the garage. Don't really need to worry about trailers. We don't have to worry about really uh, winching anything on but I left the uh, I left the crane on just for that um, just because I'm, I'm I tend to roll over so it might be a uh, might be a good idea to go ahead and leave that on the, the vehicle so that I if I have to I can get the product back on the back of the truck um, so what am I going? I'm going after, uh, I believe it was Shabby Guardhouse? Nope. Uh, Temporary Measures, that's the one I want to do. The one that we just did. The one that was absolutely, um, brutal get, to get through there. Ah, <sighs> what is, what is going to be our best route? I don't know. I, I, I'm really not going to decide the route until we're driving. Um, this is uh, this is going to be a tough one. So there is no messing around here. Uh, so metal beams. We are good to go there. We are slightly. Maybe I should take the crane off. I don't know, it's just, it's very, very back heavy. Ah, you know what, we'll try it, why not? What's the worst that can happen? We uh, can't complete the mission and we have to start over? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, now what is the best way? I almost think if we go this way? Through here to here, and then we'll uh, we'll kind of decide because we can either go around or we can come this way. But I know this way was pretty tough. I mean, there's no there's no ifs and or buts about it. That was that was pretty uh, that was pretty tough, and we did not have the. Uh, the benefit of having an extra load that is almost completely hanging off the back of this truck. Uh, what is that, like a 60 or a 40% overhang? So we'll, we'll see how well we do. No guarantees. I can't guarantee anything except that uh, I'm probably going to screw this up. And that's the first time. <laughs> of 
For some reason I was thinking I could just run that tree over, but uh, yeah, no you can't. Now the nice thing about this truck is it's kind of on the narrow side, so I'm hoping it will help us uh, get through some of these uh, tight paths. And with chains, we should be able to handle any ice that gets thrown at us. I'm going to go ahead and go just throw it in low plus. <clears throat> We'll take out those trees just so we don't have to deal with the uh, boulders. I'm, I'm tempted to kind of try to make my own path to it. There is a kind of rocky trail that we could take. That possibly might be uh, worth doing. Let's go ahead and, and stop it there. Yeah, like there's, there's kind of this trail along here. I don't know, it all it all depends on if we can fit or not. Oops. Reverse would help. back up to uh, make this turn because yeah, I definitely I definitely didn't want to roll it there. So there is a absolute mountain in the way. Uh, this does not look like it's going to go over too well. So let's kind of pause and, and think this one through. I mean, that just doesn't look doable. I think we gotta go around the long way. My my gut's telling me that that's probably the better of the paths. Instead of going straight for it, usually I take the shorter path, but um, I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling that this uh, longer path is going to be better in the end. I can't see anything. Uh, 
Oh yes, shoot, that's right. This is the uh the path with the helicopter in the middle of it. So we are gonna go up and around this way. With a little bit of help from a tree. Oh, and uh a little bit of uh, interference by a rock. Okay, so now we're on top. Should be able to... Ah, uh, do I want to go? Yeah, I think... I think that way is going to be the best way. Come on. Gotta love it when the trees get in the way. All right. So somehow, somehow there's a trail over here. It's, uh, it's very, very, um, difficult to see. And I think it's, yeah, it's gonna send me right over that, that rock face. Uh, so this might be a little bit on the uh, challenging side. Or not. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, we are going to do a little bit of back and forward. There we go. Okay, so we've got to traverse all these rocks. Which looks like it will be an absolute uh, nightmare. Why are you going like that? Come on, get me off this. Um. I love it when the camera gets uh, screwed up from the... Uh, is that the only winch point I have? I can't see because if I go in that direction we're kind of... There we go. Yeah, we're just going to have to fight our way through this. And that is why I decided to grab the crane. <laughs> um, I don't really have a great spot to uh, reattach this. Uh, and I can't use the crane now, can I? Nope, oh, it's too late. Oh, we are... We are kind of stuck. This was a bad, this was a bad path to take. There just isn't a good path. This path was insane. Uh, maybe it's better to take that path. Um, the, the Tuts is here. We might be able to find a way to get this up there. And again, the power lines are wreaking havoc on my uh, camera.
So we're just gonna do this. Because there is a tree in my way and I need to turn. There we go. Alright, so um, I'm kind of looking at this thinking this was not a good route to take either. Because how else are you going to get through all these trees? I should have, I should have, I should have used the crane to keep myself from tipping over all the way. Uh, I saw it and then I just said, you know what, I'm already far gone and by the time it kind of clicked, it was, uh, it was definitely too late, so. So as long as I can get this truck uprighted, uprighted, and, uh back on its wheels. We should be good to go. I mean, yeah, we're, we're going to have some struggles. All right, well, let's let's try this and see. Yeah. Can I? Let's uh, stop engine, change trucks, fire that one up. Let's get the crane out. There we go. We can actually kind of fish these through. All right, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to go that way. Okay. Um. Rain mode. Oh man, <laughs> I'm out of range now. Go up. Bring it in before we can come up. There we go. Okay. Let's, uh, Restore crane. Why will it not let me? Okay, for some reason it won't let me pack the cargo. <sighs> All right, um. I don't know why it's having an issue. Normally it doesn't care. Go back this way. Um, there we go. Uh, let's restore the crane. Oops. All right, and we will follow the uh, this trail here because we should be just as wide as the uh, the tartan is. So hopefully we can get through this just as well as they did. Or yeah, you know what I mean, <laughs> as I did earlier. 
Um, oh. Go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Okay, we're close enough. <laughs> I definitely did not want to roll it there. Oh man, that was that was rough. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty rough. So let's uh, let's just recover this because we are we're done here with that. Uh, now we have the spare part, so we have to go here and obviously the sawmill. Now we could use the the as off for that, and I you know what I think we will. I honestly think we will because we're we're pretty much in the same boat and the same boat house. So yeah, I think uh, I think that will be our goal. We will go all the way to there, drive there, cut through here, go here, then pick up the lumber, and then we'll drive it all the way back. So let's go ahead and without further ado go back to morning and we will make our drive because we've got a uh, we've got a nice long drive and these are the uh, these are the drives that I'm talking about um, I'm thinking about starting to edit these out um, it kind of goes against what I've been doing in this game though a little bit and that's why I'm a little hesitant to it I don't mind doing the editing obviously but um I haven't cut really I mean there was a couple times in I think Michigan where I had to get from one starting point and go across two maps two different maps uh and then I had to do it multiple times so that I did end up cutting out um but that was that was really it. I, I don't really cut too much out. Um, I try to show everything, and I think with this series, I'm I'm probably going to stick with that. I know the uh, the other series that I'm doing. I am thinking about actually starting that one over and and cutting out a lot of the um, the non-important parts. The uh, the parts that uh, kind of make it drag on, especially if I'm trying to figure something out, because that game, that game you have to think, <laughs> and so you kind of have to do a layout, and then you wait and see if it works, and then you find out it doesn't, so you do it again, and then you do it again, and then you do it again. Um, and I know I could easily look up on the internet how to do it perfectly, but uh, I'm trying to figure out on my own and see what kind of see what different ways I can come up with uh, but that one I definitely think I'm gonna end up editing um, I'm getting a lot of views on those said videos but the average view length I think is less than a minute so doesn't really bode, bode too well so uh, anyways yeah this is our this is our nice muddy path that we try to avoid last time and uh, I don't know I feel like we did a decent job avoiding all the mud and I think this time I'm gonna go to the right instead of going to the left and just kind of dealing with the mud and seeing if it's faster that way because um, it feels like it should be faster and it definitely is faster so I went to the left there not thinking and clearly, yeah, I wasn't thinking, so. But yeah, you can, you can kind of see how narrow this vehicle is, because this was the, uh, the Tartan or the APC. And you can kind of just see how wide that vehicle is and how much snow it ends up moving out of the way. And I almost took a shortcut there, but then I remembered that path is actually faster if you don't crash into poles and like who's who's putting this pole so close
All right. Uh, yeah, we just take the bridge across. I think it's pretty safe. I don't remember. I don't remember if this ice breaks or not. Yes, yes it does. We're in the middle of nowhere with no winch points. I probably should have just went around. Is there a vehicle by me? Of course not. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Ah, uh, crap. Hurt if I go. Yep, nope, I, uh, yep, I, I, I stuck myself, so, um, yeah, this is going to be a part that I edit out because I screwed up, so, uh, I'll see you in a second. Right, I decided to bring you back in, uh, here because I altered my course a little bit, so I decided to go around the ice instead of driving up through here. This is where I got stuck. Uh, so there should be a trail up here somewhere that we'll be able to uh, join up with. And yep, it's right here. So this is where it disappears, so... Pretty much over these rocks and then... It just kind of keeps going up this hill. And they did, they, they, they did not deform or define these trails very well. Um, I mean, half the time I'm debating on if it's the trail or not that I'm even on. Um, they're saying it goes off that way. And eh, you know what, we'll just go our own way. Although we should know how badly that ends. Hopefully we can squeeze through here. Am I going to be able to squeeze through here? I don't know. Alright, maybe we... Uh Go this way first. Oh, you know what? There's a road. <laughs> right, so I've decided to basically take the ice path this time instead of uh, going this way where we got stuck and um, yeah it was uh, it was much quicker and uh, a lot smoother so uh, unfortunately when I did that I uh, I decided to kind of forge my own way up this hill and resulted in uh, and me basically flipping over again, so I had to do it for a third time, so didn't even bother to show it. I uh, cut all that out because, well, a little embarrassed, um, <laughs> making making too many SnowRunner rookie uh, mistakes, so yeah, we're just going to use the power of, t uh, of the internet and uh, edit that out so we don't have to, uh, you don't have to see it, so. Alright, 
So now that we're up here, I think we're good to go. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to sneak in this gate. Oops. A little bit of damage there. Yeah, we're going to sneak in this gate here and then sneak out the other gate. Ah, there we go. We were picking up some service spare parts. Service spare parts. Done. I think that's the only thing you can pick up here. Yep. Well, let's do a 20 point turn. And yeah, no, I think I'll I think I'll go out the other way. The the day I've been having, <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. No no funny business of trying to to make my own path. Alright, we can pop out here and then uh, head over and pick up the lumber. I should probably have two vehicles and I think that's my biggest downfall right now is that I'm only, I'm trying to do this with one vehicle. Really I should have two because then I can, uh, I can actually winch myself over because twice when I tipped over, I, uh, didn't have another vehicle around for uh, for miles, so didn't really make sense to bring a vehicle over to rescue me. So I went ahead and just recovered. And apparently, this is a steep. All right, there we go. The the one the one pole I wanted to connect to, it didn't want to connect me to it. Anyways, um, yeah, so let's, let's at least get over to the lumber yard and uh, pick up a stack of wood. In fact, I gotta make sure, yeah, we're moving. Lumber yard's right there. Uh, where do we get into the lumber yard? Yeah, I think we're just going to force our way in. Uh, there are stumps galore, so we have to be careful with stumps. What fence? All this fence should be able to be knocked over. Yep. Is this where we pick up lumber? Oh, this is logs. Must be that loading bay. There's our wooden planks. Uh, and let's just double check. Yep, wooden planks. Perfect. All right, and I think, yeah, we'll, we'll pull out here. Um, we're going to head back into this direction. So I think, I think we'll probably be taking the ice most of the way. In fact, no, I just want to keep going straight. We'll, uh, we'll get down to the ice and then we'll we'll call it an episode, so... Uh, this episode's been very frustrating. Um, I've had to... Actually edit out a, uh, a fair bit of it. And, uh, yeah, I just... I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I did not have very much luck today. Um...
feel like if I go this way, it's probably safer. Probably. Yeah, we'll uh, take this road all the way down to the ice. All right, there we are. We will uh, we will go ahead and stop it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. And if you haven't, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.